right, so we will answer this question. Find the rate of change of total revenue, cost, and profit with respect to time. With R of x equals 3x, C of x equals 0.001, x to the square plus 0.5x plus 10, when x equals 25, and dx dt is 8 units per day. All right, so in order to find the R of x, no, in order to find the total, the rate of change of total revenue, where revenue is equal to 3x, you will need to take the derivative of it. The derivative of 3x with respect to time, not with respect to x, is 3 times the derivative of x, where derivative of x is dx dt. And then we will take the derivative for, for c, for, we will take the derivative of c of, c of x, where c of x is this, which by taking the derivative of it, you'll figure out the rate of change of cost. Same thing is that when you take the derivative, so for example, the derivative of this first term here would be 0 0.001 times 2 times x. But then the derivative of x here by applying the chain rule will be dx dt. And then same thing, the derivative of 0.5x is 0.5 times the derivative of x, which is dx, which is dx dt. And then the derivative of 10 is just zero. Now, the profit equation can be, can be found by subtracting the revenue minus the cost. Therefore, this means that when you take the, um, when you want to find the rate of change of profit, the rate of change of profit is equal to the, the rate of change of R minus the rate of change of C. Therefore, you, you will simply just need to do the R prime of X minus C prime of X, which is this minus that. So that's simple. So that's 3 times dx dt minus 0.002x times dx dt minus, because remember we're subtracting this function, times dx dt. Okay. Um, all right. So now we know what, now we know these three functions. If you want to know what, uh, when the rate of change of cost, revenue, and profit at x equals 25 units and dx dt is 8 units per day, all you have to do is just plug them in. So r prime of 25 units is equal to 3 times dx dt is 8 units per day, so 8. 24. Now, the unit for three, there's no units for three, but there is the units for dx dt as units per day, so it'll be 24. Or, yeah, it will actually be, yes, it will be, so it will be dollars times, so yeah, it will be times, un, times units. Per day, yeah, because you because you can't forget that this is all in, is in, is the cost, so you have to add dollars in there. Okay, and then similarly, c prime of twenty five is equal to. Um, you'll simply just put zero. So you'll simply just put in x for twenty five and then dx dt for eight. So if you do that on a calculator, times twenty five times eight plus 0 0.5 times 8, so that'll be 4.4. Yeah, and this should be dollars per day. And if I think about it, I must have, yeah, I, I probably, I, yeah, I, I shouldn't have added that. Right, and lastly, the profit. And the profit is simply just, R prime of 25 and C minus C prime of 25. So P or the, the, the rate of change of the profit at, at X equals to 25 is simply 24 minus 4.4, which is $19.6. Okay. And that completes the answer. All right, thank you for joining with me and listening to my response. If you have any um, Questions or comments, that would be greatly appreciated.